Now, before I cover direct suggestion, let's talk for a minute about why hypnosis works and then specifically, why does hypnotic suggestion work? Well, there are probably four primary reasons why hypnosis works. First, we have direct control over our bodies at all times. Now, this is really important. Many years ago, I worked uh, as a family therapist in the William Rader Eating Disorder Treatment Program. And I worked with anorexics and bulrexics and bulimia and people with eating disorders. And uh, I, 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 I was amazed at, at how many of those individuals who were suffering from what can be a, a life-threatening mental illness uh, did not have a belief that they had control over their bodies. And hypnosis teaches us that we have control over our bodies at all times. Now, I'm no longer working with eating disordered individuals as a hypnotist. I leave that to those who are continuing to practice mental health counseling. Uh, but for my clients who are um, uh, dealing with nicotine withdrawal, for my clients who are dealing with bariatric counseling, uh, I think that it's really important to recognize that we have control over our bodies at all times. The second reason why hypnosis works is that a mindset of sickness is replaced with a mindset of health. One of my best friends is an anesthesiologist. In fact, his name is Ziad Sawi. He teaches some courses with me on medical hypnosis and uh, has been a frequent guest on many of the different ICBCH classes. And, uh, uh, and when I've talked to him about you know clients or, or patients of his who have catastrophic illnesses, who get well and who doesn't get well, he's really the number one factor, more so than anything else, is is, is their mindset, their mental framework. And hypnosis replaces a mindset of sickness with a mindset of health. Herbert Benson's book, The Relaxation Response, was a landmark book in the 1970s that demonstrated clearly that our bodies and our minds respond to physical relaxation. And that is essential. And of course, the fourth reason why hypnosis works is that belief is in and of itself healing. The law of attraction, the mind, uh, uh, the mind essentially reaps what it sows to some extent. Uh, I don't believe that people think themselves sick or that people only think themselves well. But like does attract like. And wellness attracts wellness. And success attracts success. And abundance attracts success. And belief in and of itself. The ritual of hypnosis ratifies the change that takes place. And these are some of the reasons why hypnosis works. So let's talk about hypnotic suggestion specifically, whether it's indirect suggestion or direct suggestion. Why do these words make a difference? Well, first, because clients want it to. Now, that might sound like a simple explanation, but that is why, or one of the reasons, why suggestion works, because people want it to. They, they, they act on their beliefs. You believe the chair would hold you up today, so before you sat down, you didn't flip it over and make sure the screws and bolts were there. You, you, you wanted the chair to hold you up. You acted in accord with the belief that it would hold you up, and that's exactly why hypnotic suggestion works. Hypnotic suggestion has power. Now, power is one of those, uh, you know, sort of ethereal or metaphysical ideas, but it's true, and words have power. Words can start wars. Words can end relationships. Words can be the beginning of inspiration and success and even somebody's dream. Hypnotic suggestions are made of words, and words have power. I have a, a whole pile of books on my on my desk here the language of influence 250 power words perfect phrases for executives how to say it in business to business selling the reality is books have been written simply about the fact that suggestions have power the third reason why suggestions work is that they come from the client. They don't come from me. It's not me putting my suggestions onto the client. It's not me and the mother or the father figure telling them what to do. Uh, the suggestions actually come from within my client. Suggestions work because they give instruction. People only know how to do what they know how to do in life. They don't know how to do anything different. If every time grandpa got angry, he threw a chair through the window and drank a 12-pack of beer. And every time daddy got angry, he threw the chair through the window and drank a 12-pack of beer. When I get angry, what am I going to do? I want to throw a chair through the window and drink a 12-pack of beer. People only do what they know how to do. 
Now, some of you know I'm also a professor at a university and I teach in the counseling program. And right now I'm teaching in the family therapy course on the uh, subject of genograms. Let's go to Google and study genograms. Genograms and family therapy are fascinating. And it shows that families tend to repeat themselves on a multi-generational basis. Why is it that families repeat themselves? Because we learn what we learn when we're little, and it's all we know. And so, unless we learn something different, we're going to do the same thing, no matter how much willpower is there. This is why willpower itself does not work, and suggestions give specific instructions. I've often said that hypnosis suggestions work because it is, in fact, a ritual that ratifies the change that takes place. And from a cultural or anthropological perspective, ritual is important. Now, I don't know why this person selects the ritual of Nicorette gum, and this person suggests the ritual of homeopathic medication, and this person suggests the ritual of laser therapy for nicotine withdrawal, and this person suggests the ritual of cold turkey and telling all their friends about how miserable they are, and this person suggests or you know, uh, chooses the ritual of hypnosis. But each ritual is a pathway to success. We're familiar with ritual in the terms of religious faith. Almost all religion has its ritual. That is part of what makes religion successful, that familiarity and the importance that is attached to ritual. And so the ritual of hypnosis is actually what ratifies the change which has previously taken place when a decision was made. And then perceptual changes occur in hypnosis. I have on my desk uh, an article from Penn State University. It's uh, uh, by a psychology professor, Melissa B.D. Moss, and it's titled Probing Questions, Does Hypnosis Work? And I actually highlighted one of the uh, paragraphs in this article. It says, Ray's own research uses hypnosis as a tool to better understand the brain, including its response to pain. We've done a variety of EEG studies, says Ray, one of which suggests that hypnosis removes the emotional experience of pain while allowing the sensory sensation to remain. Thus, you notice that you were touched, but it will not hurt. And in psychotherapy, giving people that space can make a big difference between trauma and healing. These are some of the reasons why hypnosis works and why suggestion in particular works. And now I'm going to move into a discussion of direct hypnosis or direct suggestion. And then I'm going to do a demonstration again with Sheila, going through a process of uh, both indirect and direct suggestion for a specific issue.